Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihalovi channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Windows 11 22H2 version without installation on your computer. Yes, it's possible. But for this, we need to install VirtualBox. So guys, for this method, we only need to download Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft official website and also we need to install VirtualBox. The biggest advantages of this method that you can just install virtual machine and run Windows, the version that you like, without any problem. You can discover for yourself the feature of Windows 11, how it looks, how it works, how it gets updates. And if you like the interface and all basic features of Windows 11, probably after this video, you can decide for yourself. Do you really need to install Windows 11 on your laptop or computer? So guys, before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get it started. So guys, for the beginning, we need to open our browser and in my case, it will be Google Chrome. So click on it. After that, you need to type next virtual box and press enter. So guys, here you may see the virtual box. Actually, this is a virtual machine. This program will help to run Windows 11 on any computer. So if we scroll down a little bit and here you may see operating system and it supports Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Solaris or Solaris. Actually, it is first time when I heard something about this OS, but it doesn't matter. So right now we need to go to the official website. All links will be in the video description. Now we need to click here on downloads. Click on it. So guys, we are on the official website and here you may see VirtualBox, VirtualBox 7.0.4 platform packages and we interesting in Windows. So right now we need to select Windows, click on it. And now you need to wait until a virtual box will be downloaded on your laptop or computer. As you can see, it has 105 megabytes and definitely it's not large. For example, Windows ISO file have more than five gigabytes. As you can see, virtual box already download on our computer. So now we can close this page and now we need to download a Windows 11 ISO file. For this, we need to type next Windows 11 and press enter. Today, we're going to install the latest version 22H2. To download Windows 11 ISO file, we need to go to the Microsoft official website. All links will be in the video description. So just click on it. And we are on the Microsoft official website. Here you may see download Windows 11. Now we need to scroll down a little bit. And here you may see download Windows 11 disk image ISO. So we need to click here and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO. Okay, after that, click on download. Wait a few minutes. So at this stage, we need to select the language. So for the example, I will select English, but you can select the language that suits you the best. After that, we need to click on confirm. Another time, wait a few minutes and voila. Now we can download a Windows 11 ISO file. We just need to click here, 64 bit download, click on it. And now you need to wait until Windows 11 ISO file will be downloaded on our hardware. So as you can see, I previously mentioned that Windows 11 ISO file have more than five gigabytes and actually this is true. So guys, we need to wait until Windows 11 22H2 version will be downloaded on our laptop or computer. And after that, I will show you the next stage, what you need to do to run it in VirtualBox. So friends, we finally download Windows 11 ISO file and a virtual machine. So now we need to go to the download folder or to the place where you save virtual box and Windows 11 ISO file. Now we need to install a virtual box. So click on it. 
Here we see the first window, so now we need to click Next. Another time we need to click Next. Nothing complicated here. Emergency, emergency. This message means that it will reset our network connection, but don't worry about that. So we just need to click Yes. Nothing complicated here. Also, I want to mention one important thing. You need to install all important software that will be recommended to installing right now. And even if you don't see some windows like that, you will see other windows and VirtualBox will recommend you to install it. Definitely you need to install it because probably it will get a newer and newer updates and some feature will not be in this video. So be sure to install all recommended software. Click yes. And in this window, you just need to click install. And now you need to wait until all files will be installed on your laptop or computer. And we finally installed the latest version of a virtual machine. So if you check this option, it will automatically run on your windows. I will click finish and it will automatically run. So guys, we are in the virtual machine and right now we will be able to run Windows 11 22H2 version without any problem. So also I want to mention one important thing. I have a quite old laptop and it's since 2013. So right now I just want to show you the specification of the laptop and actually it doesn't matter but this laptop is unsupported. So you can run it on unsupported hardware. So I will close this window and let's go back to virtual machine. First, we need to click here on new. In this window, we can name our OS. So I recommend just to type windows and that's all. I do not recommend to press the space bar and type windows 11. If you want to type windows 11, it should be like this. But please don't press the space bar. Probably you may have some issues. To not have any problem, I just recommend to type Windows. Now we need to select our ISO file. For this you need to find ISO image. And you need to click here. And find other. Click on it. Literally you need to go to the place where you save your ISO file. So I save my ISO file in downloads folder. And as you can see this is Windows 11 22H2 English. So I will click open. Also, we have option to save the place where we want to install our virtual box. So definitely I recommend to leave all by default. But if you want to, you can go to the desktop and create folder. Here you may see addition Windows 11 home. And if we click here, we can choose the version of the Windows. So it all depend on you. So I will leave Windows 11 home. I think it doesn't matter right now. Here we don't need to change anything. My friends, if you do everything correctly, after that you just need to click next. In this window you may see username, password and some other option, product key. So definitely 100%. My friends, I do not recommend to change any option. You just need to click next. So guys, please pay attention because this is a very important window. The first that you need to know that this is the green line and here we can select how many ROM do we want to use. And everything is very simple. If you select for the example 4894 megabytes, everything will be okay. And for the example, if you want to use 5961 megabytes, it is on the red line. And definitely your system will work not correctly. It will be better if I move cursor to the green line. Also, I want to mention more RAM you have, much faster virtual machine will work on your device. After you decide how many RAM do you want to use and how many cores needs to be, you need to go to this option. Here you may see enable EFI. And definitely I will uncheck this option. That's because I have an old laptop and if this option is enabled, virtual machine can't run Windows 11. It simply doesn't run it. 
So in my case, I need to uncheck this option. If you also have the same problem that you will see the command prompt and nothing else, you can just repeat all the process and you can just uncheck this option just like I did. After you manage all these options, you just need to click next. Nothing complicated in this window, we just need to create a virtual hard disk or a virtual hard drive. Actually, it doesn't matter and as you can see by default, it has 80 gigabytes. I think it will be more than enough. So you need to select this option and after that, you just need to click next. My congratulations friends, we do all important steps and right now, we just need to click finish. After that, virtual machine will automatically run and Windows 11 will automatically will be installed on our virtual hard drive. Let's click finish. So at the first time, you just need to wait. Also, you may see the specs of our virtual system, memory, display resolution, storage, audio, network, etc. Okay, virtual box run without any problem. Right now we see Windows 11 logo, so we can click here we get something that looks like full screen. Also on my channel you can watch a lot of video where I explain in detail how to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptop. You can update from Windows 10 to Windows 11, all links will be in the video description. My friends, as I previously mentioned, installation process will begin automatically. It may look quite different and specific because if you install Windows 10 or Windows 11 from your USB stick, you need to select a lot of other options, the place where you want to install Windows, etc. But in this case, you just need to wait until the program will do all the job. Also, as you can see, we see installation of updates. And yes, you could install updates on Windows 11 22H2 version, even if you run it in virtual machine. So we can restart our virtual device and we will get access to Windows 11. Voila, welcome. So guys, we are in the Windows 11 and here you may see Microsoft Edge browser, bin, so we can use a mouse, we can move the mouse cursor, also we can click on the right mouse button and here you may see the basic feature of Windows 11. Actually it is Windows 11, we run it in virtual box, so we can click refresh. Okay. Also, we have opportunity to use keyboard, so you can just press any key and it will work. For the example, I will press then key and voila, we have a lot of options here. Right now you may see some apps and important features, calculator for the example, and also many apps that are installed by default. And if we click here, we can go to the settings. So let's try it. So we can scroll down a little bit and also you may see all basic and important feature of Windows 11 activation. So if you want, you can activate it, but it all depends on you. And here you see about section. If we click on it, we can look at the specification of my laptop. Yes, I know previously I showed the specs of my laptop. It has eight gigabytes of RAM. Intel Core i3 processor of third generation, but I think it will be better if we another time take a close look. I want to remind you that this is the RAM that we chose previously. It has more than 4 GB of RAM. Here you may see Intel Core i3 processor of third generation. It has two cores and four threads and definitely nothing special about this laptop. And here you may see the version of Windows 11. Definitely we installed Windows 11 Home and the version 22H2. This is quite popular version and a lot of users are so excited and curious about the fact that you can try it without installation on your laptop or computer. I mean virtual box. So folks, another time I will press Win key. And here you may see Microsoft Store, let's click on it. If we scroll down a little bit, here you may see top free apps, iTunes, Netflix, etc. So actually there is a lot of apps that are installed by default 
and also you can install some important apps or games as you wish so guys i think it will be more than enough for today please let me know in the comment what do you think about windows 11 and virtual box and should i make more video about this topic so guys if this video was useful for you please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be very glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.